What's going on guys? Welcome back to the TCG Empire YouTube channel. Today we do have Meta Monday and today we are going to be taking a look at Red Green Law with the Trafalgar Law Leader. This leader is pretty insane. Once during your turn, if you have five characters on board, for two dawn, you can basically return a character and play a five drop or less of the opposite color from your hand down to the board. So this means if your board is filled with things like, let's say four Nami and a Vista, you can pay to dawn, pick up a Nami, play down a Trafalgar Law, pick up another Nami, and then play something down like a Capone. And the cycle just keeps repeating. Now this list did win the PPG Online Treasure Cup, so congrats to Justin. I believe you pronounce his last name, Dezazo. Um, if I butchered that, I'm completely sorry, but he does have a YouTube channel. It is TCG Luffy. I'll link it down below so that you guys can actually go check him out. But this is the list that we're going to be rocking today. Um, I'm going to bring it back up in the sim just so you guys can actually see a lot of the counts. Now, my webcam does block it, but the cards that are above me and right next to me, they are four of the Trafalgar Law. And then you have two Radical Beam and then three Machino, four Choppers. So this is the overall list we're going to be rocking today. We do have a gameplay against Black Smoker. Um, so I hope you guys do enjoy it. And the deck is a lot of fun. Keep in mind, I do make some misplays. I'm still learning the deck. I've never played Law before. And I can see the sequencing and how things go. But it's not always going to be perfect the first couple games playing it. But I did want to get a video of the deck out just so you guys could see. I am still going to practice it. So you guys technically will still see it on the channel and I'll be improving it. But enjoy the gameplay and I'll catch you guys next... Not next week. I'll catch you tomorrow for Tech Tuesday. Okay guys. So here we are. We are playing the law list that I just showed. And we're going to see exactly what we can do. Now we are playing on a 2-4-6 curve. And looking at this hand, this hand's pretty good. So we're going to keep this. Because we can actually do... We can't Nami into any one drop, but we can play the Curly. And Curly can grab us the... Let's see. An Otama. And from there, we just pass. Next turn, we are going to be at four, which means we can potentially Nami into Zoro, which would be good. The whole point of what I want to do, though, is just try and build the board as much as possible. So there's a 5k swing. I'm going to take this. We'll use the Jet Pistol trigger to get rid of the Tashigi. We do draw Makino as well, so that's fine. So we'll go Nami. Nami can grab us. Let's see. We can't grab these laws, unfortunately, but we can grab the Zoro. And then we can play this Zoro and just swing for 5k. See what he wants to do. He need to take it or block it however he wants to do it. So he gets his own basically jet pistol back. So that that's fair. Either way, it was going to be KO'd too because it's a cost of 4 or less. So there's a 5k swing. We'll take this. I need to see as many cards as possible because I need to be able to flood the board. Now let's see. We are at 6, so we could play... Let's see. The first thing we'll do is we'll do a 5k swing to test. And then we could, we can actually get Shambles going, which is good. We could play the Machino be at five. Let's see, Machino would be at five. That leaves us with three Dawn to work with, with Shambles, which means we could Machino, Nami. Mm -mm. And we could play Otama if we really wanted to. I think the first thing I'm going to do is play the Nami. Nami can grab us the Rush Zoro. Yeah, because it's Straw Hat Crew, so unfortunately. Okay. Okay, now... 
We can play the Machina. We could play... Yeah, that sounds pretty good because that's a very huge power swing, especially considering what's in our hand. And we can still play the Rush Zoro down. So we use the Machina on Nami to swing five again. Um. Oh, we could actually play the Brook, which would be even better because the Brook would put the Dawn on Curly. Which means we're getting another attack through. I like that. So we'll go here. We'll swing with the curly. And then we can use the ability. Let's pop back the Machino as well as the Brook. So we'll pop back the Machino. We'll play the Law. Use the card action. We'll pop the Brook back. Play the Zoro. And then Zoro can have a 5k swing too. This is just the sheer power of Law. You can just get so many swings through every turn and it's just it's so hard for them to deal with it you have the sheer power and aggression of being able to swing heavy with red and then green has very good like supplementation when it comes to blocking so it just works out great now if he does swing he can potentially ko the law there's a 5k swing, so he does 5 into 2. That's fine. We have to let that go. He could do 5 into 5. So he's just going to be working for clearing the board right now. Because when Law loses its board, it's pretty hard for it to come back. But considering his hand size, I can actually work on his board back the next turn. So there's a Borsalina. So he doesn't choose to swing which is interesting so here we could do the same exact thing that we just did we could mock you know swing six so that sounds that sounds pretty good so the first thing we'll do is we'll do the mock you know and we'll put one dawn on nami for the six that way if he blocks with the borsalino it goes away so he chooses to block which is fine I can put one on here and we can swing six. I could swing five and still have shambles with the Machino play. I think I just will do exactly what I did the turn before. So I think we'll just go Brook, attach one, and then I still have access to shambles. So I think we'll just go here, swing six. So he chooses to block, that's fine. So then we shambles, we'll bring back the Machino, play down another law, use the card action, we'll bring back the brook, and it's a three or less cost. Um, I could swing eight to get rid of the Porcelino, and then he has to combo to 10 which would be two cards out of his hand and we still have enough to where i'm pretty sure i could save a law so i think what we can do hmm. you know what? yeah that sounds fine we'll play the brook we'll put two and i think here we can we're, we're safe to put a lot of aggression because if he decides to 10 drop kuzon or anything yeah plus we have double mock you know so, and this forces a lot of cards out of his hand if he wants to save the porcelain, you know, so he lets it go. So that's fine. And this being at 6k, if he swings 9, it's just two 2ks. He has to swing at least 10, which is 5 Dawn investment. So, yeah, I don't... I think we're in a really good spot. Now, I'm still new to playing Law, so... I am going to be making some misplays, but... It's a learning experience, but I just wanted to show off the deck's capabilities and what it can do. So it does swing 6,000. Oh, so it chooses to attack Nami. Interesting. Okay. So the Nami... Let's see. We can let the Nami go. Because he just got rid of the one cost card on board. 
So, okay, well, technically not, but it's okay. Okay, so he gets rid of one. But he's not going to have any Dawn open the next turn, depending on how he wants to do this. So there's a 9k swing. And then he can still swing 7, which is... Yeah, that's fine. So we'll just dump the Rook as well as the Otama to go to 10. Because I want to be able to have as many swings as possible through the next turn. So there's a 6k swing, 7k swing. So that's fine. So we can just counter with the Machino. And if my, yeah, my opponent concedes. So the overall course of the next turn, considering he had no Dawn open, was we could use our Brook to swing five, either dumps a card and takes it, and then the Curly can swing five, drops a card or takes it. And then we have potentially two 9k swings or two, we have a 9k swing and a 8k swing, so... Yeah, the deck is the deck's a lot of fun. So I would definitely try it. It is a hard deck to learn and pilot, but I am going to keep playing it and keep learning it. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, remember to smash that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.